Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm doing my son Dimmy's 12 month update. My little Dimmy is a year old. It really does not feel like it's been a whole year. I think having more than one kid kind of makes time go by faster just because you're so busy and this year has just been full of getting my business more established and we've been remodeling our house. We're actually getting so close to being able to move and it's just been like kind of crazy. And then now I'm pregnant with baby number three. I'm a third of the way through this pregnancy and it feels like it was just yesterday that I found out I was pregnant. And it also feels like it was just yesterday that little Damien Bear was born. And he's just been such a little blessing to our family and I'm just so thankful for him. And on his actual birthday, which this video will be a bit late, it's not quite on his birthday, he was born on March 2nd. But on his birthday, I actually went on my YouTube channel and watched his birth video again and it just made me cry and his birth was just so amazing and it totally changed me as a person and he's totally changed our whole family. But anyway, let's get right into this update. So as usual, I forgot to weigh him before I started filming this video because I like to film when they're taking their nap. So. I put him to bed, I came down here to film and I realized I forgot to weigh him again, so I will put it over the screen what he weighs. He stopped growing, he stopped gaining weight as fast because he's very, very active now, so he just kind of burns off as much fat as he's putting on. <laughs> but he did move up to the next clothes size, I just had to change out both of the kids' clothes. So he is now in 18 month size clothes because he is quite a chubby little guy still. He still feels like a baby to me just because he's not walking yet and because he's not walking, he still is quite chubby. And so he does just seem like, well, a big baby, I guess. Because <laughs> he is pretty big. Him and his sister, who is, his sister is like 20, 28 months, he's over two. They weigh just about the same amount because she's very petite and he's a big boy. Even though he weighs the same amount as her, he just feels like a baby to me still. It was very kind of a shock to my system for him to turn a year old because he, he doesn't feel that old to me. Partly because I think Sophia was walking at 11 months and he's not walking yet. So it's just like, it's funny how all kids are just so different and they just both have such different personalities and they both just want to do things at different times and that's totally fine. So he has so many teeth now, it is absolutely crazy. If you guys have been watching his updates since the beginning, you'll know he got his first tooth at like two or three months old, it was crazy. And after that he was just getting them one after the other and now he's been working on his two-year molars. So he has at least four front teeth in the on the top and four on the bottom. So he has his front teeth in, and then he's also gotten his four big molars in. He has almost as many teeth as my two-year-old. <laughs> it's insane. Actually, when I went to my last midwife appointment, she was talking about how there's a connection between kids getting their teeth really early and then they end up breeding really early. So I'm really curious to see if that turns out to be true with him. We have just now barely started with him practicing with him brushing his teeth. He has so many teeth now and I'm like, he just needs to start practicing that so that it's more of a habit and it's just something that we do. I didn't start as early with Sophia very consistently just because she didn't have as many teeth as he's gotten at a year already. So hopefully we can just make it a fun thing. I, I don't even know how exactly we did it with Sophia, but she loves brushing her teeth. We have a toothbrushing song, and as long as she keeps her mouth open, we'll keep singing the song. She generally likes her teeth brushed a lot, so hopefully he likes his toothbrush too. He is getting just the cutest little personality. He just is so funny. I can just see like his own personality coming out in all these different things that he does. He loves to make us laugh. It's just the cutest thing. He will act like super goofy from across the room to try to get your attention and get you to laugh. He likes to clap his hands and like kind of bounce up and down on his bottom. One really funny thing he does is he'll like lift both of his hands up like this, especially when you're at the dinner table, but he wants you to like tickle his hands and he'll like jerk them back and laugh and then he'll do it again. And he also likes it when you, you'll like raise your hand up and get his attention and put it down and raise it up and then he'll copy you and he just like puts his tiny little fat hand up and it's just so cute. <laughs> baby hands are my absolute favorite. Everyone always talks about baby feet being the cutest but I think hands are the cutest personally. He has just started giving kisses and it's the cutest thing ever. He just kind of opens up his mouth and just like press it as, presses it against you. <laughs> it's so cute. So he gives us kisses every night before bed, he gives us kisses before his nap, and then just whenever 
during the day I'm holding him, I'll ask him for a kiss because it's like absolutely adorable. And his sister loves giving him kisses too. So they're always, now that he knows how to kiss, they're always giving each other kisses and it's very adorable. He likes to have his neck tickled. So he will just come up to me and like tilt his head up and he's like asking for me to tickle his neck. It's really funny. And then as soon as I tickle it, he'll like jerk it down. He'll like scrunch up his face and, and giggle a little bit. And then he'll tilt his head back up and ask for more. <laughs> he likes to smile really funny and he knows that we all think this is hilarious because we always laugh at him when he does it so i think he just does it to get us to laugh now but he like smiles and then he'll like show all of his teeth and he'll like scrunch up his eyes and scrunch up his face and he just like being all goofy and then we'll all laugh at him and he'll laugh and then he'll smile normal but it's like so funny how he does that he started doing that months and months ago it was when he was teething really bad he would like scrunch up his eyes because his teeth hurt but it looked like he was smiling like really hard <laughs> and so we would like laugh at him a little bit and so then now he thinks it's just funny to do even though his teeth aren't hurting him right now. <laughs> he has started helping pick up his toys a little bit which is really crazy. We have With Sophia she has kind of chores during the day and one of the chores is before her nap and before bedtime at night she picks up all of her toys in the living room and if he is sitting by the toy bin only if they're blocks. He'll only pick up the blocks. I don't know if he gets it with the other toys, but he'll like pick up the block, put it in the bin. He'll just like put all the blocks in the bin. And I don't know if he's just doing it to play or if he like knows we're picking up then, but it's actually really helpful and it's really cute that he's already doing that. He still crawls all over the place. He's getting really, really fast. Him and his sister like to chase each other around the living room. She'll crawl around and he'll crawl around and they'll just kind of chase each other and play and then she will, be like, Dimmy, chase me. And then she'll run around the table and he'll like crawl after her real fast. She'll just get kind of, she, he gets really distracted easily and then she'll get frustrated with him because he goes off and like looks at something. She's like, Dimmy, chase me. <laughs> They're really funny together. He's always pulling himself up on the furniture, which he's been pulling up for a while now, but he's just getting better at it. He's more stable. He can just like pull himself up with one hand. He can just stand there with one hand and he'll like walk back and forth along the furniture like holding on and he'll also he's he started doing where if he's holding onto the furniture standing up he'll like let go and just like hold on to whatever toys he had and he'll just stand there by himself for a few seconds and then he'll like either hold back onto the furniture or he'll sit back down but that's really good practice that he's like practicing standing all the way on his own but he doesn't do that in the middle of the room yet he, ha he hasn't like stood up from sitting in the middle of the room. It's always like he's holding onto something and then he lets go of it. I've tried a few times where I like stand him up with my hands and then and then try to get him to balance and let go. But whenever I'm holding onto his hands and having him stand, he gets so excited he just starts bouncing and jumping and he doesn't like try to balance <laughs> at all. Some of the fact that he doesn't want to stand up in the middle of the room yet could have to do with the fact that his toddler sister is just kind of around all the time and she bumps into him on accident or on purpose sometimes but it's like not as it's probably not as feeling as safe to stand up in the middle of the room yet until he's like better at doing on furniture so I don't blame him but I'm curious to see when he will start doing that. Today was the first day he started holding on to the back of my legs while I walk around so Sophia actually started doing this when she was learning to walk so I guess this is like how my kids learn to walk but he'll, he'll hold one one arm onto each leg onto my jeans. So they have to be jeans that are loose around the knees so that he can hold on to the material. And then as I walk really slow, he'll like walk along behind me. <laughs> it's so cute. It takes me like a million years to get across the room. So as long as I don't have to be somewhere fast, that's fine. But it's really cute even though it takes a long time. And it's really good for him to practice walking. He has still been very clingy, which <sighs> this is kind of was my experience when I was pregnant with him. Sophia was just so clingy throughout the whole pregnancy. Partly, maybe because we stopped breastfeeding right when I got pregnant and then she could just feel a change and he's seeming to be doing the same thing. He's like right around the time I got pregnant, he started getting really clingy. I think they can sense that you're pregnant sometimes. They can sense that there's a big change coming. They don't exactly know what's going on, but people are acting a little bit different. There's like, it's just different. In fact, if I go to the chiropractor or something, I have to drop him off at my cousin's house that's like real close to it. It's like, it's not a big deal. She's like two blocks away. But if I take him to the chiropractor with me, he'll sit in his chair and scream. Like if he can see me and I can't hold him or someone else is holding him, he gets so 
mad. It's like ridiculous. Like he'll scream so hard he turns blue. Like he just cannot even handle it. So today I have to go to the chiropractor, but I'm not gonna bring him with because it's just, I can't even hear what the chiropractor is saying and it's just not fun for anyone. So I know they go through phases of being clean and just since Sophia did this when I was pregnant with him, I'm I'm fine with it. It's just harder to get things done sometimes when he's in one of those moods. And a lot of it could have to do with the fact that he is pretty much weaned now. So that is also a big transition where we just don't quite have as much snuggle time as usual. I try to like sit with him and snuggle when we maybe would have been nursing. Just so we still get that like kind of close bonding time and he still gets one-on-one -on -one time, but he just doesn't nurse. So he it has been five days since he nursed last, which is like, it is literally breaking my heart. I absolutely hate weaning. I hate it when they stop. It's just like one of the hardest transitions for me ever. So in a, another couple of days, I was I was thinking of nursing one more time just because I'm having a really hard time giving it up. So maybe in a couple of days I'll nurse right at a week and then we'll just be done. I don't really need to because my milk is like gone, but I'm like hating it. He's been doing okay. The morning feeding is when he absolutely loves nursing the most, but I've He's kind of adjusted now to, we come downstairs, we get dressed, and then he sits in his high chair and I'll give him whatever breakfast we're eating. Or if he's feeling really sad, I'll lay down with, I'll lay him down on the couch and give him a bottle of rock house milk. So he's being such a champ about it. He's generally pretty chill about most things, but this weaning has been hard for both of us because he loved nursing so much more than my daughter did. And I love breastfeeding my babies. And it's just kind of a very bonding, intimate experience with your own child and it's just especially since every time I've had to stop breastfeeding it's because of, of a pregnancy <laughs> so maybe that's like making it harder for me but it's still hard either way he still is taking three naps a day I know I said that I talked about this in my last in his last update that he's still taking three naps even though I try to get him down to two sometimes he won't take his third nap sometimes we're out and about and he won't take it or if we're at someone else's house it's harder to get him to take three naps so sometimes he'll take two Sometimes he'll take one and then he's kind of a wreck for a lot of the day But he just seems to do better with three like he just seems like he needs more sleep still because he will take all three And he'll like take substantial naps. He'll take longer naps if he takes three naps It seems like if he only takes one or two he just gets overtired and he doesn't sleep as well Which is like strange for a one-year-old like he should be down to like two naps for sure almost like one nap I don't remember when Sophia started taking one nap, but I'm just like going by what he seems to need and he's seeming like he still needs three naps. Sometimes his naps are in his crib, in his the room that him and his sister share. Sophia has not been doing well with naps, so lately when they take a nap together, I'll put him in the playpen in the room over so that he can just like sleep and she won't bother him. And that's been working out just fine. So it's nice that he'll like sleep in multiple different rooms and in multiple different beds. And that just makes it so that I could probably take the playpen over to like my mom's house or Luke's parents' house and set it up there and have him take naps there. I just haven't done that yet. But it's nice to know that like he will sleep in that if I wanted him to. But I think that is all for this update. I really feel like I'm forgetting something because when I just sit down to, and try to remember everything new he's doing, it's like I always remember something later that I forgot to say. But this will actually be his last update because he's now a year old. I'm still in shock that he's a year old, but I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing his updates every month. It's been so fun for me to do them and have something to look back on like, oh, this is what he was doing at five months or whatever. And pretty soon I'll be doing updates with the next baby. So be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm having a lot of motherhood and pregnancy content coming up. There's a lot of homesteading and cooking from scratch content. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, subscribe to my channel and head over to my website because I have a place where you can subscribe to my email list and that's where I keep you guys updated on everything we do. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!